Hey guys, welcome to another Steven Universe recap video. This is the highly anticipated, no one asked for episode of Steven Universe crossing over with Uncle Grandpa. It is Say Uncle. In this particular episode, Steven is on the beach trying to summon his shield but only gets his bubble. And then Uncle Grandpa shows up to help him out. Realizing that Steven can only summon his shield when he's in danger, Uncle Grandpa basically attempts to kill him with laser beams, missiles, and bee drills. So, when the gyms realize that Uncle Grandpa's there, this reality-bending person, uh, Pearl, Amethyst, and Garnet get kind of freaked out and don't really like what he's doing to the universe, decide that he's a danger to both the universe and Steven, and decide to try to kill him. Um, to get away from this, they basically put up a plot hole, and Uncle Grandpa and Steven now appear in the Uncle Grandpa TV show, and uh, they kind of just chill with Uncle Grandpa's thing people for a bit. Um, the, the the lizard guy has a, a gem sona. He's apparently a big fan of Steven Universe, knowing all the gem sonas and gem stuff. And his gem sona is on his tail. His little gem, yeah, on his tail. And uh, basically, after that, they realize, oh, we need to actually finish the plot. They jump back into the Steven Universe's world where. The gems try to kill Uncle Grandpa one more time, but Steven's able to use his shield to protect Uncle Grandpa because he apparently cares for Uncle Grandpa. And that's the episode. This is a, this is a hard one to really kind of uh, talk about because uh, I, I know I kind of skimmed through that, and I'm going to talk about the pieces I did like, but overall, the, the episode itself was okay. There wasn't really anything special about it besides the, the circumstance of what happened, but, um, I mean, it's not a terrible episode. It's just... Not really a good one either. I mean, I guess it's more bad than good. I know a lot of people were ready to jump on this and be like, this is the worst thing ever when it was announced. And, uh, you know, it was kind of on the, uh, really? We're, we're doing this? Does, does that really work? But I trust the Steven Universe crew. I, I think they are really good storytellers. And this wasn't a good example of a good story, especially since midway through they just kind of gave up on the story and then just kind of came back to it. That's when I kind of just like lost interest in the episode itself i did think there's some really really funny gags particularly the uh basically all the meta humor with uncle grandpa was great and solid the uh the fact that you know he jokes about whether or not the episode's canon and then you know uh he accidentally destroys a ship which has lars and sadie on it and lars is just like no our ship and it's like that's clearly a tumblr joke this is you know shipping uh which is just really really funny in fact uh I think they, they, they acknowledged, they knew that the backlash was happening. And this episode has been in production for a what bit, because it's a season one episode. You can tell by Garnet's outfit. And um, I think they knew people were going to be happy about this, because Steven Universe and Uncle Grandpa have clearly different fan bases, and they're just completely different shows. And while Uncle Grandpa is not a bad show, it's got a lot of really good, like, animation visual gags. And uh, Steven Universe is a much more well-written story it's a narrative you know they're, they're, they're separate things i don't particularly want to watch uncle grandpa because it's not it's not that i think it's bad or it has terrible character designs or it's unappealing it's just not really my show you know what i mean and uh yeah but um anyways there's some really good meta humor like i said the shipping joke um garnet makes a incest joke which uh you know uncle grandpa makes it uh greg's uncle and you know dad and brother uh, that was that was pretty funny. And but if there is any highlight to the episode, it has to be Pearl. Pearl not being able to comprehend or even like, just I, I guess comprehends the word. But you know, uh, Pearl not being able to cope with the fact that this guy is just messing around with the universe is just probably the greatest thing I've ever seen. She has so many really really funny lines. It's like take Pearl and then like turn her up a notch, and that's basically her in this episode. I think one of my favorites is like uh, she's like, "Where's Steven? And then like um, Pizza Steve walks by. And it's like, "Yeah, I'm Pizza Steve Universe," and it's just like, "That's not my baby." <laughs> it's like, oh, because because there's been some like really stressful moments with Pearl. With like, uh, you could tell there's like some resentment with her. But she also loves Steven, and, you know, she obviously had some romantic feelings for Steven's mom. So it's just, like, um, seeing Steven, and, like, she does see him as her, being a mother. She is the mother of Steven, you know, that type of thing. Um, just really, really, like, submitted that. So that's a really, really sweet moment. And it's just really weird for me to think that this is the episode in which Steven kind of learns how to use his shield. Like, he's summoned it before, but, like, this is the episode that, like, he gets the knowledge that he knows how 
to use the shield, how to summon it. And he does the same technique he does in this. He doesn't jailbreak. So that's kind of the connection. And so it's basically canon. I can't tell if the joke of, don't worry, this is not canon, is uh, actually a joke or not. Because it immediately goes to April Fool's. And I can't tell if like this is a, if the joke the episode is the April Fools or the fact that it's not canon. I don't, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I just kind of left. Uh, I enjoyed this episode for what it was. It was a fun little crossover th- bit with two friends having shows on Cartoon Network and them both kind of doing a little nod to each other. Um, I kind of wish and preferred if it was my original thought. I thought when going into this, this was going to be either a gem shard accidentally brings a cartoon Uncle Grandpa into the real world or Steven goes into Rose's room. I, that You know, something along the lines of that. I was really hoping that Uncle Grandpa didn't actually exist in the Steven Universe universe. And uh, it's just kind of tricky and it's like I guess we just have to accept that Uncle Grandpa is a mythical creature within the Steven Universe series, you know? Um, He is just a being that can warp reality. There's no ifs. He's just magic. And uh, I think that's how... I'm I'm, I'm kind of like Pearl right now, just like kind of... Okay, okay, this is how how we're going to, uh, you know, let this be a thing. Uh, But yeah, so what are your guys' thoughts? Did you like the episode? Are you with me? Just kind of, eh, it's an episode. Uh, let me know down below, and if you watched the video up until this point, it's not my baby. Say that in the comments. It's not my baby. That's not my baby. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, we'll be back next week with another, which apparently is uh, the story of how Rose and Greg met, which is going to be a lot more essential and a lot more fans enjoying, definitely. But I'll see you guys soon, and stay awesome.